What is up guys? It is the Muddy Puddle Squad here and in this video I would like to give you guys um, a little update. I already gave you my thoughts on the Dreamcast but I would like to give you guys a little update that I have chosen to buy uh, the Dreamcast as my next console. Uh, hopefully I will get one this year in 2023. Um, although it's it's likely I'll get one in 2023, it's not likely I'll get one anytime soon. I'll probably get one in like six months toward, toward the end of the year sometime. But um, anyway, yeah. So I have decided to get a Dreamcast, um, which will be my first Sega console. I really wasn't really that into Sega consoles because, I mean, I'm not really that into like cartridge-based systems. But the Dreamcast is a disc-based system. And I'm going to start off... I should have started off with this, but I'm going to say that this is not my Dreamcast. I have not bought a Dreamcast yet. But I will get one before 2023 is up. Um, I did run into a few problems with the Dreamcast. So my favorite series, or my favorite... Um, <clears throat> my favorite... Um, my favorite type of game is 3D platformer games. As the only unique 3D platformer game on the Sega Dreamcast is Super Magnetic Neo. So, I mean, it's got an incredibly small library of unique 3D platformers. Not only that, it doesn't have that many great exclusive games. I mean, a lot of the games that you can buy on the Dreamcast, you could just get on PS1 or PS2 or Xbox 360. So, it's not really that great of a selection. But I think it wins whenever it comes to consoles that I don't have. So, I think I will be getting a Dreamcast. And what's really cool is that it actually has ports A, B, C, and D instead of 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's actually pretty cool. I, I like that idea. Um, but yeah, it's. I think it's going to be an okay system. The controller looks a little bit hard to get used to. It's kind of big and clunky. But I like the way the system looks. It has an excellent dashboard. Uh, I'm still trying to find out. I don't. I can't figure it out with the answers that I found on the internet. Whether this console actually comes with built-in storage. Or if you actually have to buy a memory card. I'm not 100% sure. But um, I'm going to talk to some people that have a Dreamcast, and I'm just going to ask them whether it has some built-in storage or not. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope to see all of you guys in my next video. Um, and again, my next video is not going to be me unboxing a Dreamcast because I don't have any money right now, and I'm I need I actually owe some money, so I probably won't be able to I probably won't be able to afford one for another few months. But I'm definitely going to save up for one. I think that's going to be the next quote-unquote unique console that I buy. But um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time on the Muddy Puddle Squad. Later.